Hey, what's happening? This is Cascade, and this is WatchMojo.com. When I was walking here, I saw some big trucks outside. I saw some buses. This is a real big tour. This is a massive tour. Yeah. This so, is not, I know. Even when I pulled up, I was like, wow. Yeah, it's two semi-trucks full of the stage um, and three crew buses. So, yeah, there's a lot of, lot of things making this whole whole show work. I mean, electronic music has come a long way. Talk about the evolution in terms of how important, you know, the staging and the lights goes with a set for a DJ like yourself. Yeah, I think electronic music, uh, you know, until recently has been just basically a club phenomenon. You know, it's like it lived and existed in a nightclub. And I was always relying on what was going on in that nightclub, like the lights, their video, their content. So it's like, even though I always felt like my music's different, and man, does it fit into this space, that was always a challenge. But when I do my own show, like tonight, for the Freaks of Nature Tour, this, the content that's on the screens, the design of the stage, this is all I've had my hand in it from the beginning, from the initial, like, okay, cool, this is what I want my show to look like. So, I mean, it's less of a club experience and more of a concert kind of live experience. Now, you're a writer, you're a DJ, you're a producer, you're an artistic person who gets involved in this projects. How do you balance, and is there, is there a favorite part that you like? Yeah, I know, just kind of go for the things that are really important and work backwards. My thing has always been centered on the music, so I really enjoy my time in the studio writing and producing, and I've kind of worked backwards from there, like the shows came later for me. So, I mean, for me, it's really cool to kind of see it at this point, to have, you know, semi-trucks following me around with the stage, and, you know, and, and 20 people making this, putting it together, making it happen is, uh, yeah, it's a cool point to be to. Being a DJ, producer, how important is the remix game? I know you did some remixes for Katy Perry, uh, Usher. How does that work? Do they come to you or do you hear a song and you approach them? I mean, 99% of the time, they just approach me. Um, I've been talking with Usher because Usher is really into dance music and he likes what I'm doing and he was working on his album at the time and we never had time to get in the same room together which is a shame but uh, when he finished Climax he was like hey you know I know we don't have time but do you have time to remix this thing and I was just like oh man I love this song I'm a fan of Diplo and Diplo produced it um, so it's like I'm a fan of the two guys that made the song I was curious because you're an artist, you're a DJ, you play music, you're a producer. In your shows, do you just vibe with the crowd or do you have certain songs you want to play? Is it always your music or do you also play other people's music? On a typical club show, I'm just vibing with the crowd and I play really heavy on my music because I think a lot of people that show up to the club for a Cascade show, they want to hear my stuff. But I mean, when I'm just kind of like winging it and I'm out there in some club, I mean, I'll do whatever I want to do. It's like just run with it, feel what's happening and go with the moment. On a night like tonight in the Freaks of Nature tour, the idea was to have it more, be like a more concert experience. And you know, I've got seven albums and countless remixes, I don't even know. So tonight it's pretty much from beginning to end my music. Um, I mean, I've mashed it with a lot of new and current stuff to kind of give it, because some of these songs that I'm playing are 10 years old, so I can't play the original version but I'll take the lyrics and the melody that I've written or worked on and uh, you know have a new mix of it or a new mashup or some interesting way to kind of um, you know get it out there and make it feel fresh and new again. You've accomplished so much you said seven albums, you've been in the game for over 10 years. What's your ultimate goal or project? I mean, this is it, the Freaks of Nature. This is really it. I mean, bringing my music to as many people as possible. When I sit in the studio, I enjoy that, and it's a very selfish process. But when I go out and I perform, and I get to see the people connect to the music that I've made, that's, that's kind of like, you know, that's the icing on the cake. That's really the part that makes it all worth it. You know, see the people that have, uh, have found the music. So for me, you know, going out and touring, hitting the road this summer is really kind of like, that's a cherry on top, man. Taking the music to the people. 
congratulations on your success. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for being humble. Nah, nah. <laughs> that's good, man. That's nah, right. important. All right, thank you. All right, take care.